instead of like enhancing a lot of people's it's like you can have whole relationships and text back and forth and never actually like have these kind of experiences where we're bouncing off each other you know in this great <laughs> m like molten fun way like, I'm totally serious dude it's like the good shit is like humans that, like, coming together and sort of like sexually or emotionally or like brain wise just like banging against each other <laughs> And so the idea being on the record is that the record sort of deals with the duality of that. Modern, which is sort of angular and cold, and love, which is sort of like hot and like, you know, raw. <laughs> so I wrote this next song as like an, a post-apocalyptic love song. I felt like if the world ended, thankfully the rapture didn't come. I was really counting on this being the epic rapture soundtrack as we all got sucked up by the aliens or whatever the fuck was supposed to happen. October 21st. October 21st? It was rescheduled. Oh, it's got rescheduled. It's kind of perfect. Yeah, that's awesome. And I've decided that June 21st is the rapture. Because that's when my record comes out. And I'm going to take you somewhere. Um, so anyway. I wanted this to be the soundtrack for the rapture, that didn't go down, so hopefully in October by then maybe it can be a single. <laughs> I had this dream that like my record, I want the, I want my, the folks that are working, my, my, my record company is amazing, but I really wanted to supplement the job they're doing with the people that promoted the rapture. <laughs> Cause that shit was everywhere. It was like Lady Gaga, like promotion city. This is a song called Room at the End of the World. Yeah. Somehow the mic stand is, is sort of drooping, so if I get all sort of like Metallica, I'm like, for whom the bell tolls. Just know that it's, I don't mean to, it's not like a thing. I'd like to fix it. Yeah. Stay. I'm apparently not exciting the mic enough.
Let's start.